Hey everybody! There's a bit of uh, brightness happening. Hi! Hi! Hey! I'm um, starting off a new video, new vlog, while I have to edit another one. Uh, but I'm starting this one off today because, um, yeah, there's a couple of things that I need to do, a couple of things I need to show you spend some time chill kind of miss um you know powering up the camera and doing the things um i've got my glasses on apologies for the blue light it's like i'd have to do this if i didn't want you to see you see you see you see um but yeah today is a very i don't know why i chose today because today is actually a really tough day for myself and my family but uh <laughs> Um, so I'm just starting this. Oh, my bad. My bad. Hmm. So I'm just starting this vlog today. Um, let's, let's get on with the day. I haven't eaten. It's like 20 past 12. I haven't eaten, so I'm really hungry and I'm fixing for oats because it's quite chilly. Winter just needs to go away now. I'm done with it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go make something to eat. I just finished this room. This room needed a couple of add, like new touches, like a rug, which you can see down there. Um, just a couple of other things on the side. And it's done. Um, if you hear anything in the back, you are hearing my machine because I am doing laundry. So it's right there. It's right there. Right, right here here but back there um i'm doing my laundry right now but i wanted to show you how much of a sucker for pain i am <laughs> the thing is with these and i was lucky enough today to find the chicken flavor this is also the sam yang hot chicken flavor ramen hot 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 but this is two times hot so i feel like this one will be better i feel like this one will be better um i was at the spa getting bread and you know as you do as a female you get more than what you came in for really really um and then i saw the guy actually taking out boxes of these and i was just like what do you even mean and then I went there and I picked them up because, yeah, people really enjoy them. I picked up five. Uh, this last one isn't from Sam Young. This one is from, they have different, different brand names, but uh, Korean noodles. Um, this is from Nongshin. And I have no idea for the life of me what's written here. But I'm going to use my Google Translate and she will tell me. She will tell me. Um, so I'll unpack this stuff now. And I wanted to show you something. So in the office space, there's a section of the wall where I want to put my mother's uh, pictures from when she was younger. When she was like a freshman at school. And not a freshman, but like when she was younger. When she was at school. And I want to do a wall of her old pictures. And I came across these. So... Uh, I came across these. These are old pictures. But that's my mama. That's my mama. That's my mama. Mama, focus. That's my mama. <laughs> so I want to do a wall. There's some more here. But I like these ones. Just six of them. And I'm going to do like a, a wall nyana there. On the one wall, I'm just going to stick these up there. And uh, love and miss ya gonna do that and i'll show you how it looks when i'm done a little bit later on uh but for now i am gonna eat and i've got some work to do so and this machine is annoying so i'll catch in with you guys later basically trying to work and it's not really happening is it no I just came from the shops it's not a hole however it is a little bit of a, a hole but it's not a hole of food so uh, let me just try and google something quickly so i came from the shops i was actually going to stock up on dun, dun. here 
pretty much I'm pretty much running out of everything. Um, I'm down to one. The one that I have quite a bit of is this one. Um, but with my vitamin C and my uh, pure evening primrose. Why is he calling me? Can I help you? I just got a call. So I'm running low on pretty much all of these. So I went to go pick up the important ones today. The one that I've still got quite a few of is this one, which is the Women Multivitamin. Um, and I'm just taking a little bit of a break from that one because I feel like it makes me eat quite a bit. I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, but I will buy one. I'll buy another one during the week sometime. Vitamin C is very, very hard to find. Vitamin C and D. Um, but luckily for me, I have a little small tucked away neighborhood pharmacy around where I live and they had stuck. Okay. So I had to go pick up yes because I'm on, I'm on yes because I ain't trying to. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> and then I also had to pick up uh, vitamin C again. I've used this one before. I picked it up from the very same pharmacy. And then I also picked up 60 tablets of vitamin D, which is this one. They've got quite a large large amount of stock with this. And then I picked up 30 tablets of zinc. That's, that's the zinc. That's the zinc. And you can take all of these. What I was checking on um, my phone is can you take all of these at the same time? Yes. You can take all of these at the same time. What you can't take at the same time as zinc is magnesium and calcium. You can't take those supplements at the same time because then they don't work or something. But these three you can take at the same time. So had to go stock up very important notified um all my family members about these and where they can get them uh, apparently zinc is very good especially now with covivi saying hi you know and um also put it on my whatsapp status i am also going to put it on my instagram and yeah let's 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 help each other protect one another you know um let's protect one another from each other uh, by self-isolating, but also let's protect one another by, you know, just trying whatever means necessary to, um, you know, boost ourselves against, you know, COVID. You know what I mean? And then I went to go pick up my bread. I, I feel, I'm feeling some type of way about this special bread of mine because, first and foremost, this bread is not easy to find. There's certain places where they'll have it and certain places where they won't have it. And my spa that I go to that's just around the corner from me always has it. But lately, I don't know if they don't stock it anymore. or No, they do. They do because I found it there today. But I feel like people are now jumping on it. People are now realizing which this bread is the ding-dongs of the ding-dongs. And now I'm feeling touched because for the last three days that I've gone to the shops looking for this bread, I couldn't find it. I ended up having to buy Albani, which is back there. Can you see? Here, here, here. And I don't necessarily eat Albani much. Now I need to go put that one in the fridge because I found my bread. And there was only one left. One and when I asked the lady who works there, I'm like, how, why, why the stalker fella, everyone fella, like, how, can't they, why, why? And she's like, no, the stalker, it's just that by Reka. Boma, why, why, why? Everybody jumping onto the train, and I'm so upset. Um, from this came, a regular that I picked up is, of course, my ACV. I was literally, okay, honey, honey, honey. It's on its last legs. Look, it's literally on its last legs. So I had to stock up again something that is very hard to find. Luckily, there's a disc game tucked away in one of the, the burbs near me. And Zanins, I should have actually taken um, two. Damn. And then lastly, I picked up uh, Carmex because my partner, okay, who's the one who called me just now? This, this chap likes to take my lip balms, and he believes that I like to take his. So I bought myself one, because 
uh, what we're not finna do is okay okay all right oh and i and i got a bunch of flowers yesterday i want to show you okay let me show you all right i need to go get my plant from upstairs and put it down here but i mean look at these babies uh, what do you even mean they've got my favorite flowers in there and then eucalyptus of course and white roses which i love so pretty so pretty i don't know what these are called but this whole arrangement and then this one looks like a little bit like of a cabbage hey let's be honest looks a little bit like a, a cabbage and i let me smell this <laughs> it might be a cabbage in my flower <laughs> arrangement but this looks so nice so me so nice so beautiful Okay, so it's much later on in the day. It is four o'clock. Am I done with working? Not really. I have very long days. <laughs> Do I want to take a break? Yes. Am I feeling peckish? Yes. Am I having some sushi? Let me show you. This is from Woolies. There's just four pieces on here. And that's all I need because I have cooked for later on tonight. I had the other pieces yesterday and for some odd reason I stopped eating it. So I just thought, okay, well, I'm feeling kind of peckish right now. So let me have it now. Um, so that's what I'm going to have while I have a chat with you guys. Just pour this in here. Because what I wanted to share with you guys, because I've noticed that a, a few people always uh, say in my vlog since I started reading, please write down in your description box what books you're reading or what books you like or anything to do with reading, really. Um, and what I'm going to do is I always respond to the comments by saying that I'm going to feature the books that I'm reading in my vlogs. I feel like it's easier. It's just less work for me than to write down because in the description box it's it's really it's really a lot um but i wanted to share the book that i am currently reading now this is ruth wears the turn of the key it is a great book so far i am 106 pages in um and i only read it in one sitting got to 106 pages in and then i stopped because it's getting kind of creepy <laughs> It's getting really, really creepy, but it is written so well. It's such a great book. It's a thriller. You can't put it down. It is um, about a nanny uh, by the name of Rowan who goes and, um, you know, applies for a job with this rich family to become the live-in nanny for the family's four kids. And... Uh, it's great as it starts out it's really it's cool until she goes to the house for the interview and then the kids are strange and then one of the kids like hugs her and stuff and then she's like please don't come back and whispers that i'm just like for if i start hearing noises in the middle of the night i'm gonna die so i get afraid to read it at night unless uh somebody's here you know and then the next book that I wanted to share with you is a book that I am reading 
for my Instagram book club. And my ex Instagram book club is known as um, Brown Skin Reads. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was thinking about it. Brown Skin Reads. The kids are playing right outside my door again. Um, and this month, for the month of August, we are reading The Yearning by Mohalema Shekho. Mohalema Shekho is a female South African writer, fiction writer. And this is her debut novel. So she wrote this in 2016. I actually did, if you're a reader and you're watching this right now and you don't follow me on Instagram, I suggest that you do. Maybe you want to be a part of the book club. I suggest that you do because um, I feel like a good community is building from this and I'm really, really excited for it. We are reading The Yearning for the month of August. And as I am talking to you now, the date is... Everything of mine is charging, so it's not giving me the date. The date is the 3rd of August. So for me, this is a rather small book, as you can see. Uh, it's got a hundred and something pages, 80 pages. So I know I'll, I'll, I'll be done with this in a couple of days. So I want to use this week to finish off the turn of the key. And um, then probably get into one of Brit Bennett's books, which is uh, The Vanishing Half, or probably Queenie by Candace Carty Williams. I've got those in the sitting upstairs. But yeah, if you want to follow along with the book club, definitely follow me on Instagram. It's a good way to start. And then if you're somebody who likes journals, now I love journals. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, do you see this? Okay, I love journals. That I can write in like um, the five minute journal, um, just journals that I can just frame my thoughts and write in. Love those. And I picked these up a while ago when I was um, out shopping with my friend Roxanne. And Roxanne visited me. She also has a channel on YouTube. I will link it down below. She visited me and she, she vlogged the whole thing. I didn't vlog. Um, did I? I didn't. But she vlogged the whole thing and uh, we picked up on that day these two books. And my favorite one is this one, which is currently the one that is sitting next to my bedside table. I've removed the five-minute journal because this one is just so much, okay, nicer to look at. I picked these up from Typo. I'm just going to do a little sort of run-through of how it looks. It's so pretty. And basically, this is what you see every single day for every single week. And then in between, you've just got like filler content. Um, but basically, this is um, what you write in the journal for uh, what you are grateful for on Monday, Tuesday, you know, uh, and the weekend. And it's just um, a journal to keep you more mindful, um, to help, you know, just consolidate your thoughts and just basically be more mindful of what's around you, reflective. I really love it and I love it for um, at in the evening. I, I go into this uh, journal in the evening. Um, and then there are those other filler content pages where, mm -hmm. zoom in, and then there's those other filler content pages which have like just different things. There's like a reflections um, page here. There's a reflections page here. What do you want to reflect on? And then there's here where you can color and all of that. It's absolutely great. I love it. I feel like I got this from Typo and I feel like Typo has great. I've got it a while ago, guys. Really a while ago. I've just broken into it, writing into it recently about a week ago. So the beginning pages have all my affirmations, reflections, blah, blah, blah. And, um, add flowers to the stems, be kind to yourself. It's really just such a great, great journal. Uh, I don't know if they still have these particular ones, but I do highly suggest that if you are a journal person and you're looking for a journal, typo is the way to go, okay? Typo, typo is legit the way to go. Let me put another one in there. I 
just wanted to talk to you guys um i'm about to wind down for the evening and one thing that i never really talk about on my channel a lot is religion and faith um the only reason why is because religion and faith is different things to many people um whether you are religious or whether you're a spiritual or whether you're both i typically don't like to address uh such conversations on my platform because it is not what my platform is about but it doesn't necessarily mean that um i do not practice my religion and my faith um it's been a difficult time and as you saw in the clip before i have uh candles burning through out the day the pillar candle that you saw on the floor burns throughout the day day and night um purely because it is a very very tough time in the world that we are going through as much as i feel so many levels of gratitude and thanks that god has kept me and my family um safe for now from this disease i am also I, I can't be ignorant to the fact that there are many people that have lost family members. I myself have lost, um, I, I myself know of uh, people who are close to me who've lost family members because of Corona. And it, I, I can't be ignorant enough as to not notice that or not see it. And more than anything, not pray for those people and their families. Um, we might not be, um, you know, as much as in my family, in my immediate family, there haven't been any cases of Corona that have, that I know about, but, uh, we are struggling in our own way. There's some members, there's a member of my family that is in the hospital right now and it's worry, it's fear, it's it's so many things and i find myself going back to the creator and i find myself speaking to god at many points throughout the day um and exhibiting my gratitude and thanks for not only being where we are right now um but for the fact that he has just kept us this long um and God has just given us answers that I, I can't even tell you. I know what, how I got to certain points in my life from March until now uh, because things have been so bad. But I firmly and am in belief and rooted in the fact that God, God, God has those answers. God made that happen. Um, the other day, I came across a Bible of mine and this... Bible I have had <laughs> for years and years. I've actually purchased more Bibles after this one because there was a point where I thought I lost this Bible. And I bought this Bible around the time that my mother was alive. And recently, about two months ago, I found this Bible again. And <laughs> I cannot tell you how happy I am to have found it. This is the uh, Stormy or Martian uh, Bible, the New International Version, the Power of a Praying Woman Bible. One of the reasons why I love this Bible is that it's not just the Bible, but there are also um, phrases and uh, little passages uh, where you can uh, reflect, where there can be moments of reflection, uh, where there can be moments of meditation, uh, extra passages from the Bible and all of that. I just absolutely love, I love this Bible so much. And, and I cannot tell you how handy it's been coming in, especially recently, a few weeks back, because we can't go to church. Um, a friend of mine who he's also Catholic started sending me Sunday um, sermons um, of the, like because we can't go to church. So he started sending me sermons that he's been receiving from the Catholic faith, from a, a, um, a priest in the Catholic faith who shares the word of God and shares the responsorial Psalms. And I listened to those sermons while I um, 
read my Bible. And I cannot tell you how much it has renewed my faith, my faith in God, how much it has increased my gratitude of no matter how difficult the time is right now, I am firmly rooted in the fact that we will get through this. And I believe that we will get through this through prayer and through um, understanding and drawing myself closer to God. It has helped so much, especially in my um, anxiety and uh, just, I can't explain it. I just feel it. And I just wanted to share that with you. You may not be somebody who is spiritual and that is okay. And you may not be somebody that is religious and that is okay as well. But even if you do believe in a higher calling, in a higher power, uh, draw yourself towards that power, especially in this time right now, because I feel like I can't even explain how my faith has been renewed. I, I just don't even know how it happened. And I wish that for you as well, whether it is with regards to your faith or your spirituality, I wish that for you as well, because I know that it is a very tough time. And if you have lost a family member or you know of somebody who's lost a family member or a friend, colleague, cousin, anything, Burn a candle for them. I feel like if we can all take a moment each throughout each and every day to talk to our creator or to look inward and reflect and meditate, I feel like collectively we are more powerful. Collectively through prayer, reflection, meditation, whatever it may be, we are so much more powerful.